The transverse water wave is moving along the surface of some water and this causes the ball to move vertically without moving horizontally as it floats on the surface. So imagine this is a water wave, this ball is just floating in the middle of a pool. At one instant, the ball is at this position. The wave has a frequency. Let's start labeling our values. Frequency, amplitude, Oh, jumping again. The distance between a trial and adjacent peak is 2.4 meters. What is the distance traveled by the ball in a time of 20 seconds? So, on waves, these particles, if you're looking at a displacement distance graph, these particles don't move left and right. It's the wave that travels to the right like this. The ball, if you notice, just goes up and down only, right? So the distance moved by the ball here, we're really talking about a vertical distance as it oscillates, it's riding the wave. See how it rides the wave nicely? Okay, so this K minor is a vertical motion as the wave moves to the right. So here, um, what's the distance traveled by the ball in how long? 20 seconds. So just now remember the animation, the, the object, the ball will go down and up. That is in one complete oscillation, right? This is a ball, this is a ball, okay? So this is one complete cycle. And how long does it take? Uh, I don't know, I guess we have to find that. Lah. But 20 seconds, how many cycles are there? That should be the question. How many cycles? To find cycles, we need to find a period of oscillation. So I need something with frequency. Mm, ah, yes, 0 0.2 hertz. So frequency is 1 over T. And if you want to find the T, we got to do 1 over F. So I'm going to do 1 over F to find the period. I'm going to write over here because there's no space. 0 0.20 hertz. So once you write that, you should get a period of 5 seconds. Which means, if you count 5 seconds, the object will go from here, down, and up. One complete cycle. By the way, how far does it travel? Go down and up as it rides the wave. Huh? You notice there's a 0 0.7 over here. Okay, so that's 0 0.7 down, another 0 0.7 here, and as it starts to go up, 0 0.7 and 0 0.7 again. So it will total, uh, travel a total distance of 0 0.7 four times when it goes a full cycle, go down, go up. Okay, so times four. So distance traveled, I'm going to say, will be 0 0.7 times 4, 2.8 meters for one cycle. Okay, let's look at the total distance. Huh? So now you're looking at 20 seconds. How many cycles is that? One cycle here is 5 seconds. 20 seconds is divide law. So we say 20 seconds divided by 5 seconds. That's going to be 4 cycles. 4 oscillations or cycles. Huh? Sure, you can put that oscillations. So you take your 2.8 times 4. So total distance, you can write down here, will be one cycle four times. So 2.8 times 4. Oh yeah, my calculator is not working. Come on, get it together. 2.8 times 4. 11.2. So that's 11.2 meters in total, giving us the best answer of C. Okay, so make sure you know how progressive waves work. It helps to be able to visualize how is that ball, how is that ball going to be moving. Okay, that's all for this question.